Yeah, hold on deep. I got it. I got a use for you. <laughs> Rangers, damn it. What are you waiting to jump me? Huh? Okay. Sniper on the road. Oh, God damn it. Hmm. Nice ambusher, yeah? Get in there.
Deacon, let him in. I've been pretty busy the past few days. Got this one here who comes in more than the other. Hey, how's it going? Can I help you? Deke, uh, I, I need you to go after someone. Go after someone? Okay, what's going on? Right after you brought in that girl, Lisa. Larson brings in another one. Name was Rose Allen, a weak little thing. But we figured she could pull her own weight, help us get this irrigation ditch done. Uh, okay, so what do you, what do you mean? She's gone. She went on a supply run with Alki. Some others up to that abandoned Nero refugee camp. You know the one, I, I think you've been up there before. Yeah, 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 I know the one. Find her, Deke. There's been a bunch of drifters and squatters spotted up that way. If if they find her first... What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Get I'm, I'm going to see what I can do. Hey, back to work. Hey, no. He's seeing you, Deke. <laughs> Bet you're here for your bike, right? Hey, Zanny. Keeping your hands clean. <laughs>
your bounty. John Salome Hot Springs. Talk to you there. Yeah, Deke. I'm here. Hey, I'm at that location where the girl was last seen. Looks like they uh, got hit by a swarm. If she was here, probably not much chance she's still alive. If she is, you'll find her. Tuck her out. Final. Jesus. Take a look around. There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up.
much worry. I mean, she might be here somewhere, right? Jesus, looks like the swamp tore him apart. <laughs> Poor bastards. Could make something out of this. Rose? Rose Allen, right? No! Hey, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you, see? I'm, uh, I'm not with those assholes. No! No! God damn it, I'm here to help. Tucker sent me. Wait, wait, I said that I am here to help you. No, you're with her. You're from the work camp. No, no, I'm with Tucker. I, uh, I, I do runs for, yeah. They starved me. I wouldn't follow her orders, so they wouldn't feed me. Well, I mean, it's a work camp. I mean, everyone's got to work. I'm not a slave. I'm not going back, do you hear me? I'd rather die out here. Okay, 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 God damn it. Go on. That's the last nest. Should make it safe.
Almost out. Tucker, Tucker, Deacon St. John, Deacon St. John ate a Tucker. Deke, did you find her? Uh, yeah. yeah Tuck, I found her. Uh, she's on her way back. Wait, you let her go? Alone? Whoa, she took one of the squatter's bikes. Said that she was gonna be able to find her way. She, look, she didn't want my help. Oh, God damn it, Deke. You should have brought her in. Well, why, Tuck? Why? Is it something wrong? Or is there some reason she wouldn't want to come back? No. No, of course not. That's just... A kid like Rose. She doesn't have a goddamn clue about what's out there. One kind of she St. John. Tuck, hey, okay. I'll see if I can make time peeking out. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. I just wanted you to know that the Hot Springs appreciates all that you've been doing for us. Life ain't ever gonna be easy again, but you're making a difference to a lot of folks. Marauders, good. Yeah, wait for me, huh?
be it. Jesus, something went down. I wonder if the poor bastards had anything worth looking for. burning out this infestation zone. Making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. All right. What have we got? There you are. Oh shit! There he is.
How's it going, Lynch, man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Ricky's gonna send some men for you and tell them when you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? Please, this. don't leave me here! No, no, I didn't see him. All right. See you, Lynch man. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, 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 St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. that's why I'm here. something for me. I got someone I trust working on it. We'll know soon enough. Oh, okay. We're ready to upload the data as soon as you're close. We'll ride it out. Sounds so what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? I'm clear. I think you get stop it. Fill up at the old yep. Peltro gas station. Perimeter's clear. In case you didn't see it, the sign yes, says gas low. But no. Okay, I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. Getting hungry? Come on, yeah. guys. Just gotta... See me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Brian, the tracker. The hell we do no two zero six zero. Got plenty of fuel. We've now completed the survey Jeez. of twenty four nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called? Our crazy willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A crazy willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just asking. I see things too, you know. 
wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? I heard something. Now they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice. Flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Dawn, okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. Ricky, did you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. O'Brien, O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. O'Brien, oh god damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Oh, here we go. Deke, heard you track down Eric Lynch. Oh, yeah, Mike. I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're going to have a trial. We'll get a chance to tell his side of it. That's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh, 
I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thanks, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better. You here to buy something? How's it going, Buzz? Deke, uh, you be careful out there. Daddy, how's the arm? Yeah. Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eaton Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. All right, gentlemen. I thought you'd just swing by, shoot up the place. Nah, I just think it's time you move along. Come on, is that all you got? You could do better than that. How many you got left? Oh, is that it? No. Oh, oh shit! One more. Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay. Radio in and let Ricky know. Deacon, how'd it go? It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof, thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up, and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye, Deke. Like Gaddy, how's yeah. the arm? Yeah. Well, it's about there. Sorry, the line PT over there. Seriously though, it's like I can still feel my right hand, you know. I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah, that's what Addy said. It, man, it fucking sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints, you know. Like after a long ride, your hand gets gummed up. I go to flex it, and anyway, I I gotta get going. 
Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Gotta see if I can uh, pay off these damn pain meds that Addy has me on. Later. Later. down those boys, shot up the gate, took off. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them, and they won't be coming back. Seems like it's getting worse. The amount of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present code. I'm taken. Uh, and yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists always coming up here from California. It's like you were saying about tours, always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice, yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. Yeah, I guess so. See you, Deke. Clear the bike out. We were riding west along the old Donut Road. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo, he can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? A few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, 
We haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the Hydro Dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can run. Nope, no, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rivers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, well, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, I mean, infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look on your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. The big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, Q and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where'd you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? The Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I, Jesus? You just wanted out of marsh duty. OK, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just no, no, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it.
Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Mm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pen stuff. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through these pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. 
By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Hmm. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. Uh, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. Okay. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on. Junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nests. From the smell of it, more than a couple. <sighs> Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Burn it down. <laughs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. <sighs> I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, 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 you're gonna be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deke, come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned them before, so, uh, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminds me. 
Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Uh, no, hey, hey. Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deacon, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, well, right? Yeah, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, we're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward, okay? Not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Sure it's them. I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has Bring a treaty. Hey. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Stay put. Keep your head down. Stop. Oh, you assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? You crawled out from! Iron Mike has a treaty, goddammit. Listen to me. We're from Lost Lake. We have a treaty. You're far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Yeah, nice and low down there for you, huh? I think that's the last of them. Oh, Jesus. Maybe you're right. I've seen rippers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... 
Carlos thinks I did. Ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear. When I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh, Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club, the, uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember who you're talking about. It. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't regret. Ricky... What are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before, and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings, and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and, what, hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. 
One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? <laughs> nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? about the figure sometimes, you know? I'm here if you need me, man. Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So what are you gonna do? Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, and bring him back. That's a long way to go on foot. Figure something out. Are you, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Rick. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm uh, I'm gonna be gone. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I told you, there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close, I was gonna call it. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Yeah? <laughs> well, not a 
like I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white spacesuit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, calm was still open before. Don't think of it as, like, beating, beating Tom. It's more like opposition research. I'll pry it out. Yeah, what you no. call it. I'm going to it's been... All clear. Here you go. All clear. Bunch of ten soldiers marching in a row. Jesus. No, he's clear. That's so right. I need to see your name on business. Don't mind me. Yep. What it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? Whew, hope you got all that, O'Brien. You hear that? Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't catch your name. Booster, are you there? Yeah. How you doing, brother? Same as always. Figure out what the hell they're up to yet. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea. Yeah, I gotta get going. Skizzle stopped by. Said I'd be shoveling shit all day. What the hell Skizzle to eat shit? 
Next up. Later. Got you murdering vagrants. Whoa, well, out doing a little hunting for a change. Interesting. Yeah, I'll bet you got a job for me. Uh, okay, I'll stop by. Pick it up. Not moving, yeah? One of the camps can use this. Got good shit in stock today. Buzz, how's a camper's life? Okay. I don't even know where to start with this thing. Shit. No idea. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Hey, Deke. How you been? I got all kinds of stuff. Good one. Yep. I worked at Here, there ain't nothing but murderers and drifters and raiders. Someone needs help. Men coming! Help! 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 Help!
Shelby! Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Yeah, sh camp? What camp? Show me! Where? Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. I was a goner. Thank you. Thank you, man. I, th I thought it was over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Keep your head down and run. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. wanted me to tell you that you paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait. What? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. <laughs> 